You know, it's never too early to start talking about spring trends in hair. Why not, right? We're here at Z Salon and Spa where we're getting already kind of the inside scoop on the hottest things you're going to see coming up in spring. And with Sarah Jackson and our model Liz to kind of show the example of, of blonde. Blonde is big for spring, obviously, but what if you don't want to go all in on blonde? You want to just try it out. You guys can do that. Absolutely. So the biggest thing for spring is going to be face framing highlights or a money piece. I As love that name, by the way. <laughs> right. A money piece. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so really what that is, is when you go in and you highlight right around the face, um, that's something that you can make super bold. So you're seeing some trends where they're bleaching out almost the entire thing. So let's say like Liz, you're in an office setting, very professional, and that's not going to translate well. Yeah. So what we do for Liz is we go in and we do very, very soft pieces. So it works well for her lifestyle and work. The other thing we do for Liz, keeping that money piece really, really tight, close to the face. Around the back though, we'll go in and we leave everything super low in the hair. That way it's low maintenance. So we only color Liz's hair maybe three times a year. Oh, wow. Um, we do that seasonally. So we'll go in spring, start it, blonding her, do it one more time right before the summer, one last hurrah before fall, and then we kind of let it grow out. That way it naturally darkens for fall and into winter. So it has such a natural color. Could we spin Liz around here, show yes. the back here, kind of describe how you were saying there's just not a lot of blonde in the back. It has that beautiful, natural, uh, blonde color to it. Absolutely. So what we've done is we've gone in and we've etched those highlights into a natural color So there's not really a stop or starting point to the highlights. So as it grows out It's just gonna naturally fade off and get darker. All right, but leave Looks. her blonde on the tips and if we turn Liz back around, Liz is like, okay, I'm getting a free ride here today because I love the color of the blonde. What is this color? This is the picture that I take on Pinterest. Absolutely. <laughs> I say, what is this? I love this. It's the Pinterest hair color. Yes. So I keep Liz's hair a nice buttery blonde. Buttery what, blonde. What that means to me, it's not yellow like a banana, mm -hmm. but it's not white or platinum -y or silver. Um, so it's a nice, natural, neutral blonde. It works a lot on a lot of skin tones. Um, Liz has more of a pink undertone to her skin, so if you get too yellow, she's gonna pull a lot of that pink and unwanted tone out. If it's too blonde, it's gonna completely wash her out, right? Exactly. Well, it's absolutely beautiful, all right. Sarah, Liz, thank you so much for showing us how to dip our toe into the blonde for the springtime. If you wanna get ahead on those spring trends, all you have to do is go to zsalon.com.